Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Galvin Major and this is a commander focus on regional tidal in regards to British cruisers. You now if you remember in our British commander review carded top right I highlighted regional tidal as my wild card. And so now having time to have played the cruisers extensively and been able to put regional tidal at the hands of the controls of these ships I've been able to get a feel of how he plays and I thought I'd make this video to highlight him as a possible alternative to some of the mainstream ones and possibly an alternative way of playing the cruisers which is quite nice. Now his base trait isn't magic or anything like that, I mean it's it's nice but nothing special. Um, first level ability I've gone for the subsurface venture, reason being is that torpedo reload time and speed is quite nice without having to take that negative of the destroyer's main guns. Um, the second ability you kind of have to go for look at me now and get that sea detectability range reduction which is very nice for these light cruisers because they have a very small detectability already. For the third ability I don't think any of them are bad choices but I think torpedo safari is the better choice. The reason being is that increased torpedo range almost this is very complementary to your reduced concealment, you're almost making these light cruisers into stealth torpedo cruisers which is a very nice thing that you can do at higher tiers. Now your fourth ability you're kind of forced to go for smoke on the water but that's not a bad choice because it's um, it counters some of the negatives that you get in your legendary ability. Now with your legendary ability you'll want to go for smogathon. Now this improves the amount of smoke charge um, charges you get um, once you get into legendary 2 um, so now rather than having 2 base you can go up to 4 um, this is one more smoke screen that you can get with any of the other commanders now it also reduces the reload time so actually you're making it possible to actually use all these smoke screens now what I found is by comparing Reginald Tywet with the other British commanders in say you take Talent or Fraser with fully packed in 12 minutes you'll be able to use all three of your smoke screens. Rational Tywin in about 12 minutes as well on the back of a fag packet calculation you're able to use all four of your smoke screens. Now your smoke screens don't they last with Tywit they last a bit longer as well so actually considering that in those 12 minutes you are more obscured by smoke than you would be with any other commander and that's a really nice ability because with a light cruiser, especially the British ones, you kind of don't want to be seen. You don't want to be shot or else you're just going to get halved by a battleship really quickly. So being able to have those smokes on demand is a really nice ability. Now the smoke screen deployment time, that's how long, that's the duration of the consumable lay in that smoke screen. Now minus 50%, now that is a really punishing um, deficit that you're going to have to take. That means that round having 15 seconds delay a smoke screen, you're looking at about seven and a half seconds, but obviously that comes up a bit with, with this um, this ability of smoke in the water. So you're looking at about eight, eight seconds. Now for inspirations, I've gone to try and focus on that concealment. So I've gone for Mikawa for further reduction of my detectability. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Ozero lane, however, Balfast does seem to have quite a reasonable inspiration and that reducing your smoke screen, um, your detectability when firing a smoke screen. I mean, I may not like them, but that's actually a very nice inspiration to take. That means that we can sit in our smoke screen up and take those pot shots a bit better. Now, we're just going to jump into a quick game with the Leander. Um, I mean, with Tie Whip, I focused him on my Leander, my Fiji, and my Edinburgh. Um, and just to compare some of the stats with the Leander, um, so your ship base uh, has a concealment of 10.9 kilometers, a torpedo range of 8 kilometers, and a torpedo range, uh, reload time of 96 seconds. Using Reginald Tie Whip with those inspirations and using the Type 4 camo or the premium camera that I've got here, you can get your consumment down to 9.4 kilometers, your torpedo is at a range of 9 kilometers and a reload time of 82 seconds. Now this 
continues further up. Now the next batch of stats base-wise are going to include the concealment mod for the Fiji and the Edinburgh. For the Fiji, your concealment base with concealment mod is 10.4 kilometers, torpedo range 8 kilometers, and reload time is 72 seconds. Now with tie whip, that takes your concealment down to 8.9 kilometers, torpedo range of 9 kilometers, and a reload time of 62 seconds. And with the Edinburgh, we concealment we go from 10.8 to 9.3, torpedo range from 10 to 11.2, and reload time of those torpedoes from 61 seconds to 51 seconds. So we just quickly jumped into a game with the Leander, and this is almost just to try and um, show off what the smoke can do and the nice little benefits of it. So we've got capture the base on Trident, and I'm pushing out to the left flank. Um, now looking at the other team, fives and sixes, so this could be quite a tough game, but we're only in it just to quickly show off some of the traits. So as you can see, we've got full smoke screens down there on the bottom, and they, so you don't get any of anything else with this build, you won't get additional sonar or additional repair. So you're almost trying to focus on that, being able to just stay concealed for as long as possible. So I'm detected, so there's definitely something a bit closer. There's Nuremberg. So in order to lay a smoke screen, you need to start slowing down. But you can't set your smoke screen right away or you'll outrun it. You have to wait until you reach 20 knots and then start to lay your smoke screen. Now by doing this, you won't outrun your smoke screen. So there we go, I've managed to lay the smoke screen. As you can see, we've got about a minute and 40 of it. Maybe a little bit more originally. So we've got the Fiji up front and the Nuremberg off to our right. Now something I want to show with this is you can see that we're already counting down the reload. And what, when we leave this smoke screen, what you'll notice is we have about a minute until our smoke screen is completely reloaded. Now that's a very nice thing. That means that you're only going to have to go out smoke for a minute. Let's see if we can just tidy up this Nuremberg, and I've picked up there's a destroyer to my front, which is a little bit of a concern, hence I've got my uh, sonar on. And I'm coming to the edge of my smoke screen, that Scharnhorst is just there, and we've got the Fiji coming around on the left. Oh, we've got a battleship. Hello, Colorado, very nice. So we're just going to take some pot shots at the Scharnhorst. Not really, nothing really special probably a bent in that smoke screen judging by the amount of fire he's been firing. Let's just chuck it down to quarter speed. So that means now, oh, there's Benson. When our smoke screen ends, you can always see we're gonna have hmm, minus twenty seconds, we're gonna have one minute and fifteen seconds until our smoke screen is ready again. So that's one thing I've liked about Tywa is you have torpedoes a lot more often. Um, you just have to bear in mind that you will outrun your smoke screen unless you really think about your smoke screen because you're only going to get three tiny little puffs of smoke. So there we go, our smoke screen's gone and we got a minute 15 uh, when that disappeared finally. So now I'm going to have another smoke screen in just a minute's time. And that's a really nice little um, ability that we can have because it means we can almost just leap from smoke screen to smoke screen. Well, that's a focus on Reginald Tywit as a British cruiser commander. I'm the Galvin Major, and back to the port.